Inserting page number. Page number can be inserted at the top or bottom of the page. The steps to insert page numbers are On the Insert tab in Header and Footer section, click on the Page Number button. A pull-down list appears. Hover the mouse over on an option to open the sub-menu, for example, Bottom of Pages. Click on the Style of Page Number. The page number is inserted on every page of the document. Click anywhere on the page. Inserting and drawing a text box. A text box is a graphical element in Word. A text box is a way to make a block of text stand out from the rest of the document. The steps to insert a text box are On the Insert tab in Text Group, click on the Text Box button. Click any one of the pre-formatted text boxes or select a Draw Text Box option from the list. For pre-formatted option, a text box appears on the document. For Draw Text Box option, drag and draw the text box on the document and type the required text. Inserting Symbols and Special Characters Symbols like simile, power button, a tree shape, right arrow and special characters like at the rate, dollar sign, and copyright can be inserted in the document. The steps to insert a symbol are On the Insert tab in Symbols group, click on the Symbol button. A list of symbols appears. Click on the required symbol. If your desired symbol is not appeared in the list, click on the More Symbols option. The Symbol dialog box appears. Click on the Symbol tab, scroll and double-click on the required symbol to insert the symbol in the document. Or, select the symbol and click on the Insert button. The symbol gets inserted in the document. To insert a special character in the document, click on the Special Characters tab. Double-click on the required special character to insert it in the document or select the special character and click on insert button. Click on the cancel button to close the dialog box. The special character gets inserted in the document. Document Views MS Word provides different ways in which a document can be viewed depending on the purpose for which it is viewed. These are Read Mode, Print Layout View, Web Layout View, Outline View, Draft View. Read Mode. This layout is used to read or review a document. In Read Mode, the document fills the window and is formatted in magazine style. The view is especially useful for proofing the documents. Print Layout. This layout is used to create and edit standard documents such as memos, letters, and reports. One advantage of working in this view is its adherence to Visivig. What you see is what you get. The margins, headers, footers, and formatting match the printed output. Web Layout this layout is used to create, view, and edit pages as they'll appear online when opened in a browser. By selecting Save As in the Backstage, you can save pages in several web-compatible formats. Outline This view is used to create, view, and edit outlines. Outline view is ideal for creating outlines. While working in this view, an outlining tab with outline-related commands is added to the ribbon. Draft This view displays a document as continuous text. Page breaks are denoted by dotted lines. Graphics and other non-text objects are not shown in this view.